In this morning's Health Watch, caffeine and Alzheimer's disease, two new studies have found that your morning cup of joe might help prevent memory loss due to Alzheimer's disease. Our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to talk about it. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. So these are two studies that were done on mice. Right. Please tell me they didn't give this much coffee to the little mice. <laughs> they didn't. They were very humane. They, give the, they gave the equivalent of 500 milligrams of caffeine per day to little lab mice who have been induced to have the same type of memory changes as we see in Alzheimer's disease. And they found a very positive effect on their memory and thinking actions. Um, over a two-month period, so put another one in the column of a good effect of caffeine. So this is how much a human being would have to drink right. if, if this was uh, the scenario was created in our world. Correct, and it looks like a lot, but it's important to realize that now when we go to a, a deli or a Starbucks, this could actually be just the equivalent of two and a half large or, or you know grande mm -hmm. uh, cups of coffee a day. So it, you know, while it's a little bit more than most people have in the morning, it's actually not such an excessive amount. How quickly did they see the effect on these mice and how long did it last? They saw it over a two-month time period and they are still following them so it's not yet known how, whether the changes appear to be permanent or not but and their thinking is that actually that the caffeine worked by decreasing inflammation in the brain cuts down on the buildup of protein that we see in the brain of people with, al with Alzheimer's disease. How encouraging is this Jen? I think it's very encouraging you know so many people are affected by Alzheimer's it's always nice to, while it's important to remember that caffeine is a drug this is something that's obviously readily accessible in our environment practically. It's part of most people's day to day and something that can have a positive effect like this is very important and very encouraging. W would you encourage people who are aging to drink more coffee in light of this? It's important to realize the study did not find really a preventative effect but more of a therapeutic effect. So more studies are needed but sounds good. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you, you as bet, always. Maggie.